Uh, hello, uh, this is Jess Tanwaya, and today I'd like to introduce a Python script. Uh, I use this Python script to update uh, land for sale data, and uh, you see this is the land uh, for sale data, and the blue is for sale, and uh, this uh, pink is sold. So when the Land is uh, is sold. I need to change this status from for sale to sold um, because this is the coded value, a uh, domain coded value, and uh, I I know the uh, sold is number one. Okay. Now let's take a look at that uh, uh, Python script. The Python script is uh, very simple. Here, we need to import Agpy, and uh, first we need to uh, uh, build a workspace and uh, click to the workspace and the SDE. So this is my SDE uh, connection stream is uh, SDE uh, 10.1 and uh, Oracle database, and then I use this field, uh, three field, as a known menu. So uh, when we know the which uh, subdivision, which block, and which land is sold, I need to put those information. I will use this uh, information to build a where clause. And now, because we already have a workspace, so we can query the works, uh, SD workspace and uh, find the dataset. The feature class is dot is and this uh, dataset. So I first I list the dataset and uh, find this uh, dataset. When I find this dataset, I use a function update land, put the dataset uh, subdivision ID, block ID, and lot number, and go to the update land function and here I build another workspace and to query the feature class and this dataset. So you see this is my root DIR and then I can calculate the dataset uh, and, uh, and then I query the feature class and find the feature class and uh, if the feature class is productivity.nodes, then I build the fields, and I only I, I only interested in these four fields. So I have a uh, fields only uh, interested in those four fields, and then the feature class. So I ha I have a feature class here. And and the where clause because I have the where clause here. The where clause is a tricky. We must use the format to put because here the uh, subdivision ID is a integer and uh, this block number actually is a double. So in this way, it will uh, create a, a valid where clause. As far as I have where uh, feature class fields and the where clause, I can uh, use an update build a, a update cursor, and uh, and then I query this uh, be, uh, based on this where clause and query when when the rule I find the rule meet this uh, where clause, I will update that uh, that role for for the for sale field is a zero one two three and is coded number is one so that means that stands for sold and now it's done so let's run it So, subdivision ID is 36, 
and the block 11, I know, and let's see which one is for sold. Suppose this uh, uh, lot 2 is for so is sold, so we can put a lot 2 here. Okay. okay, it's done. Now you can confirm it and just refresh. You see, it's uh, changed to pink, it's sold. Okay, I think. Uh, that's all today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you next time.